Okay, this is Momo Stitches. Um, today we're talking about joining yarn when we get a little knot that comes from the manufacturer. There's always a question. Do we save the knot and use it and let it go? Or do we cut it and um, do a join? You need to do a join. A lot of people find uh, that things like Russian knot and um, uh, magic knot are complicated. I'm going to show you what I do. I don't even have a name for it. It probably has a commercial name, but I don't know what it is because I learned from the old folks from the old country. So um, we'll call it a Momo joint, but I don't believe that's what it is. It's old. So what we want to do is we're folding over the yarn. And the idea is that we will have a loop with a long tail and then we're going to join another loop with a long tail to it like this creating that workspace that's where our join is but all of this work is worked into the piece already working in your ends Ooh, working in our ends already i'm liking this so what we want to do is get ready to do our work. This one is a double crochet. So we've got the two ends joined together that I folded over. I'm gonna do my double crochet uh, stitch. And I'm awkward doing it because I'm trying to save the, the, um, the extra line. And we've already worked in the extra to the work. So now we've got it. And now we just have to crochet until we get right through. So now it's easy. We've got the first stitch done. And then we can do our normal crochet. And see, we got our little tail here. It's coming up to the end, so it won't take long for it to be worked right into the stitches. And don't worry if it's sticking out like that. That means it's finished, so you can pull it to the back a little bit. And you might have it might look weird for a second, but it'll work. Oh, oh, I lost it. Here, we'll try it again. So now we're back to our single stitch, pulling it through that double uh, stranded and now back to a single strand. And I'll do one more double crochet so you can see what the finished work looks like. I'm just pulling that little tail to the back and if it flips into the front, don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you what to do with the little tails in a second. Get one more out. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that up a little bit so we don't lose our stitch. So now we have our work run, run right into here. We've got this little tail here. Um, for this piece, it's on the wrong side, so I'm just going to push it back onto the other side if I can. There we go. And I've got another little tail here. See these two little tails? Boop, boop. And I'm going to cut them off because I've worked them quite a ways, a few inches, and they've worked right into the double crochet. And I like to, in crochet, you can, if you're doing double crochet or triple crochet or single crochet, they get locked in really nicely so you can cut them nice and tight. And that is how you join when you have a knot that comes from the manufacturer. Never keep it. Or if you're joining your new ball. 
So that's what I wanted to show you today. There you go. Have fun. Momo.